ladies and gentlemen and others. For those of you that are unaware, S -S Sniper Wolf has gotten herself into quite some drama lately. Now, I recently did a deep dive in every controversy Sniper Wolf's ever been in, and today we're going to be doing a deep dive in the most recent and horrendous one. Sniper Wolf doxing Jack's film. So we are using my boy Oompaville as our storyteller and crutch today that he can say things that are semi-rational and then I can flip my shit and say completely insane oh shit and uh, insult the flipple at her and then what's the worst thing that you gotta do? What you gotta do? Dox me? <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. I just need a crutch, which is Oompaville that he's gonna talk about the story like objectively so that I could just open my asshole and unleash hell upon her. Because as someone that's been in doxing drama in the past, it is absolutely abominable that this actually happened. All right, let's just do it. Today we're checking out some people having a very bad day. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. She's having a bait day, that was my joke. That I was laughing because because that was that she was she's having an awful day. Good one, Oompaville. They were smoking the Sniper Wolf pack. Ha ha ha. God, look Guys, at that man. This He's is so bad. Beautiful. Sniper Wolf has been a very hot topic of debate in recent months. Yeah. And it started as a bit of a fire, cooled the embers, and now it has just re-engulfed into something incredible. The conflagration the is something we've never seen before. The level of this. No, because like, ah! Oh! I'm sorry, just for me, the dumbest moment in literally the history of YouTube drama might be Sniper Wolf doxing Jack's films. Like, I have never seen a content creator, especially a content creator of that size, shoot themselves in the ass that badly. It's crazy. Yeah! I love to see it though, by the way. I mean, not really, but also no, no. I do love to see it. Dude, this is exactly... <laughs> I, I was like feeling the same way. It's like on the one hand, I feel terrible for Jack's film that he got doxxed. On the other hand, I was definitely chuckling when I saw the absolute stupidness of what Sniper Wolf actually did. Have you ever Googled yourself and been surprised to find out how much of your personal information is just available online? <laughs> I have. No! This is the worst segue ever! No! Yeah, but the hilarity of it all is... Um, I, don't, I don't remember what I told Oompa. Oompa, if Sniper Wolf pulled up to your house... Would you be happy about it? <laughs> like, let's be real here. Yes, doxing, it's, it's horrible. But if she hypothetically pulled up to your house one day, would you like smile a little, take a gun and walk right out the door? Like, would you do that? And he was saying, yes. <laughs> yes. Having a bit of an adversarial relationship. Like that. As All of right. Late. And we very crudely and crassly call it Bruh. bingo. <laughs> this is pretty right. much stemmed all from that. How far this has gone. Leah creates low effort, shitty, stolen content. Like I me. Wonder why. Except the content's not shitty or stolen. Some would say it's shitty, but that's up to you. Just reminder that Oompaville has told me specifically that I could react to all of his videos. You're gonna say it so you can skill his gas, skill freaking gas. I asked for permission, mostly. Mostly asked for <laughs> I don't steal much. Okay. <laughs> I've been woken up with breakfast and lip gloss. Also, I add a lot of commentary. I, I know that this is this is like a tiny little thing. The whole sniper wolf meme where she doesn't add commentary. Sorry, homie. She doesn't add commentary. She just reacts to TikToks and sits there. Ah, damn, that's crazy. I actually add commentary and get permission. I'm just like the best guy in the world is what I'm trying to say. And sometimes I don't get permission, and uh, whatever. I still add commentary, so oh well. Tough, tough noogies. And that cat and is Jack refuses right to sit idly by and let her exploit the system and creativity of a bunch of people. All right, Sniper Wolf, take it away. Picture next to the statue. I'm going to keep um, explains before it starts, but I'm also going to give you reading caption word for word. It's what a lovely ability. triage of bingo spaces we could all have. That's <laughs> awesome. I want to give a shout out to It's Slim on Instagram and TikTok, link below. And, you know, she hasn't even mentioned it, hasn't acknowledged it, hasn't taken an ounce of accountability or said sorry or anything like that because that honestly would probably have a pretty pretty positive effect i mean i think so at least and I, I don't you see my theory when it comes to content creation and it comes to content criticism if you're not actually sorry and you're not planning to change just don't apologize i know it sounds evil and cruel and stuff but i, I i'm just saying I genuinely think that's the meta for YouTube content creators. The reason why she's still getting bajillions of views, 
Like, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Sniper Wolf, all right? Dude, you go to Sniper Wolf, she's still getting bajillions of views, okay? Why would she apologize if she's not changing the content at all? And she never will change the, the content. So what's she apologizing for? My two cents. She, she, will she will never genuinely apologize on YouTube to her YouTube audience. Uh, because she doesn't want them to know that she's stealing content. I talked to Jack in the most recent podcast, the podcast that I'm on with Mudahar, and he seemed to agree. With John, uh, uh, the podcast I'm on with Mudahar, what am I? What am I? Just an NFT? Just, just there for the, for the, for the, for, for the, for the really cool and, and relevant Rule 34 references that Twitter likes to call me out for having? It's an honor to meet you, brother. I, I've been, I've been, uh, following for a very long time. Oh gosh, cringe. Man, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so now, over the last few months, yes, Sniper Wolf has taken quite a hit with her viewership, and she has become notorious for being the low effort POS that's on the platform that the platform does nothing about and quite <laughs> frankly wait low effort POS what's a POS hold up person of sex I'm sorry I don't even know what that means piece of shit okay I was like what because I know what POC is people of color and I was like what's POS people of sex because she's a woman okay all right never mind I take it back I take it back I'm sorry the platform holds up on a pedestal it's yeah. embarrassing it is. what the f do some with me, maybe. I'm awesome. Nah. He is, dude. Think of how much respect YouTube would have if they just mailed YouTubers perfect facsimiles of Oompaville's mustache. Like, the YouTuber goes, opens the mail, pulls out just like a mustache, and it looks exactly like Oompaville's. YouTube should do that. I'd love it. Really, I suck. Don't say that, bro! The feud has been entertaining to You're say awesome. Dino Alpha Howell! Rogue about to get bred like an Omega! Oh, we have bro! What? At the very least, we have bro. So let's go ahead and uh, bro that up. And I've also not necessarily had a feud with her, but I've made a lot of videos on this B. Sniper Wolf is a super villain content creator. Unf but I think Sniper Wolf is beautiful. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful Sniper Wolf is? Please don't sue me, Sniper Wolf. Please don't dox me, Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf, please don't, don't like actually flag down my channel or call me a harassment channel. You're beautiful. You might be an evil super villain mega bitch, but beautiful. That's what I'm saying. Fortunately, in the news that is included in that is Sniper Wolf. You've probably seen Sniper Wolf being talked ah! on YouTube a lot. Anything you guys but that. know that I don't exactly like Sniper Wolf. I've made quite a few videos on the uh, the queen of YouTube for the last few years. I've been kind of obsessed Wait with her. Wait a second. In an queen of YouTube for the... Why? Exactly like Sniper Wolf. I've made quite a few videos on the uh, the queen of YouTube. Hey, that's a Nuxanor reference! Nuxanor reference! Ah! Sorry. For the last few Nux years, jump scare. I've been kind of obsessed with her in an unhealthy way, and then I just don't think... I had a lot of people have. Nerd City's video, my first ever commentary video in 2018 was on Sniper Wolf. My Let's dream go. is to have a video get so many views that Sniper Wolf herself will watch it. And it got d demonetized and age restricted like almost instantaneously. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, the, it's kind of wild how uh, making fun of Sniper Wolf is like, they don't like it somehow. For some reason, no one likes when you make fun of Sniper Wolf. And I don't understand it at all. YouTube, you gotta start obsessing over supporting creators that aren't pieces of shit. So it's just... <laughs> No one has ever done what Jack's done. It's awesome. Go ahead. It is awesome. Man made a whole dedicated channel to shitting on Sniper Wolf. I'll be honest with you. All right, all right. So this is this is one of the, the Nuxanor crazy good ideas that never panned out and I never ended up doing it. I wanted to make a whole video. <laughs> oh, God. You're going to hate me for this. I wanted to make a whole channel just for a meme. And it would have been hundreds of hours of work, but it would have just been one meme where I react and destroy every single MatPat film theory and game theory. <laughs> I just wanted to make a channel where every single video, like I'll do research beforehand, <laughs> and I'll go to the subreddits that pick apart the theories, and I just make a whole channel just... And then I realized I don't actually dislike MatPat at all. MatPat's like a great guy. Sure, I don't like some of his theories, but like... But, like, I don't actually dislike him, so why would I do this? And then I realized, yeah, it's just not worth it. But I was so close to making a whole channel just for doing that. Anyway, uh, glad that never happened. <laughs> go ahead and mark um, black and white. Oh, I have it. Let's go. 
but not on my ex though. Cause she sucks, man. She really does suck. So Jackie has been on Damn. an absolute tear doing what pretty much no YouTuber has ever done before, changing the tide of everything. A lot of people say that he's obsessed. I feel like this is just awesome and hilarious. Agreed. And the time has come Agreed. for this to happen. See, the beauty of his content is the fact that he does exactly what she does, except so much better, right? Like Sniper Wolf's content is all about reacting to other people's content, but not really reacting and not even crediting. So it's just kind of stealing. Whereas Jack's content is crediting and is adding transformative content. He's doing exactly what she does, except he's doing it in a way that isn't actually stealing content, uh, which is just mind blowing. He's also not harassing, it's all critiquing. And um, that's why it's just so brilliant. It was so, so good. And, uh, dude, it just frustrates me to no end that YouTube really came out there with the both sides shit on this. When YouTube's like, both sides have caused a lot of drama! And it's like, jeebus freebus. All of your peers agree, right? Like, you, you understand this, right? Like, you don't have the respect of any of your peers. And he isn't just, <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh my god! Man just went there. You... You realize you, no one respects you, shit. Doing this to Sniper Wolf either, he also called out Jason Derulo. <laughs> also, I'm very sorry if this is how you find out that Jason Derulo yeah. is now a professional freebooter. We love Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo. What's that song? You know he's gonna copyright you just for saying that Oopaville. What you say? Wait, was that actually, was that Jason Derulo? I didn't even know that, okay. That's what's happening in the reaction community right now. The I find her voice annoying, so I can't follow Sniper Wolf. Dude, you don't follow Sniper Wolf because her voice is annoying. I don't follow Sniper Wolf because her content doesn't exist. We are not the same. The actual skit from SNL is happening right now. Oh. Jason's worse though, let's be real. Jason is way worse than Sniper Wolf. Dude has just a couple clips that he plays of himself over other people. It's like so yeah. fucking stupid. That's disgusting. This is so, so here's the thing. Jason Derulo, he puts himself in the corner of videos like as a reaction, but it's literally just the same video in the corner of all the videos. <laughs> so he like, he'll just steal TikToks and put himself in the corner and he's just stealing the content. Like, so here's the thing with, with Sniper Wolf. I don't think she's the biggest offender of this. I just think that she's the most wealthy offender of this, which is why people are shitting on her the most. Not a joke. All he does on his YouTube channel is like make a face at other people's TikToks while blasting his own music over it. I mentioned this had- Which is so smart because if you ever, you know, call him out on it, he copyrights you because it's his music on the videos. Thank you. From a fire to embers to a conflagration. That is because things conflagration have gotten insane. Conf things have gotten so insane. Sorry, 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 sorry. Listen, before I ever started YouTubing, okay, I would like watch drama with interest. Like these are human beings that just picked up a camera one day and started making videos. And now what has become of them? How could some human do just like me and you get to the point where they dock someone? Integration, if you don't know, is like a fucking inferno, a blaze, horrible, the worst possible f state of fire and burning and destruction. Okay, all right, we got it, dude. We got it. <laughs> On Friday night, whatever day is today. No, no, he's about to say the thing. I don't even know. On Friday night, Jack Septicai. They took Faz, Dad. Holy. Fuck. Why the fuck did I just say Jack Septicai? <laughs> means Jack's films. Jack Septicai. On Friday night. <laughs> Whatever, same guy. All Jack said the same. Sniper Wolf. <laughs> what the f What is- On Friday- <laughs> This man's head is just freaking rolling. Friday night, Sniper no Wolf did one of the most deplorable and dangerous yeah. things a creator can do, especially a creator of her size. This is incredibly just irresponsible and stupid. And it has been- More stupid even, I think. Yes, it's, it's irresponsible and it's damaging and all that stuff, but it is- it is just, uh, what impressed me is that it might have been the stupidest thing a YouTuber has ever done, especially of her size. Oompy is using the word creator very loosely, loosely, damn. Bro, when I saw this sniper wolf thing happen, I, I could not believe it. 
I couldn't believe it because it's not something that any normal human would think. How did she think it was a good idea? Like, what was going through her head? Nothing, obviously. Turns out all of her content is faked content also. Right? She faked her content. She she steals content. What What is going on? What propelled her to this level of success? It's wild. Been condemned by basically everyone on every platform that I've seen, aside from some people making fun of it, obviously, which is, you know, that's fine too. I have had people in my comments, by the way, saying, you know, Jack was kind of harassing her. It doesn't matter what Jack was doing, first of all. Second of all, he wasn't harassing her, he was critiquing her and making fun of her, which is not the same as harassing. But even if he was harassing her online, how is a reasonable response going to his house and sharing it to 5 million people on Instagram. She showed up to Jack's house, live streamed it on her Instagram page with 5.6 million followers Brother. and doxed him. Last night, Sniper Wolf, a oh. massive YouTuber, showed up outside of our home, recorded a video of our home, and then posted it to her 5.6 million Instagram followers, Brother. goading me with the line, Let's talk like adults. And then said that she didn't and went on this insane tirade of self-defense that makes absolutely fucking no sense. It so my favorite part of Sniper Wolf's self-defense of this entire situation was when uh, when uh, Jack's film says, hey, you just doxed me. You shared my house to your followers. And her response was, bro, I don't even know how to dox someone. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fa that was my favorite of her responses. And I was like, damn, you know what? With an ironclad defense like that, I don't know how many Saul Goodmans would be able to defeat her. Sure, sure, sure. But as I mentioned earlier, I've been in doxing drama, okay? Where uh, I dealt with this, a doxer that uh, tried to get my personal information and, and got a lot of people's personal information. I have been swatted and I dealt with someone that was swatting other people. And uh, we ended up getting that dude arrested thankfully um pop the man thank you for the prime and it is it's really terrifying it's really really terrifying uh as like knowing that your private information can go out like that it could uh it could genuinely destroy you i think um if i got into like this whole situation with v shoujo a couple of years ago uh, and uh i don't really talk about it much because it's not super important to mention per se and i'd rather keep it behind us but that whole situation happened because someone was doxing and swatting VTubers, period. And um, people that have gotten doxed got super defensive that this was even talked about. Just talking about doxing somebody is incredibly destructive. Uh, and I think the biggest example of that is if you type in Jax Films on Google, the autofill is Jax Films home address because even if it was readily available to get at that point, right now, people are going to look for it. So you are putting a magnifying glass on something, on a grain of sand that people hope would be forgotten. That is the atrocity that was done here. So even the people that haven't seen the Sniper Wolf video, literally people that have not seen Sniper Wolf videoing his house and putting it on her Instagram, but just know that this happened because it's talked about so much, they can literally just type in Jack's Films, the autofill is home address, you find out some shit, you get his stuff, and if you have some incredibly deranged one of Sniper Wolf's 35 million subscribers, and they pull up to his house, it's actually genuinely dangerous. It It is an awful, awful situation, and I laugh, sort of, because of how stupid it is for her to do something like that. She literally d destroyed any sense of uh, compassion that anyone could possibly have for her. But at the same time, I don't want to, people to forget exactly how horrible of a thing she did. Like, like th this is super villain bad. It's actually awful. It's, it's a criminal offense in some places, too. Like, dude, it's actually insane. I wonder if she'll get away with it. It's ridiculous. And it's just like shitting on me. And then she played the, oh, I'm just a girl card. I'm just a girl. I love that defense. That's my favorite defense. You're just hating on me because I'm a woman. Yeah, it's because of my boobs that you think that I'm evil. Yeah, if I didn't have boobs, you wouldn't think anything bad of me at all. What am I going to do? Dude, what are you going to do? What do you mean all the- You're just sexist. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, you, you're calling me out because I'm sexist. Yeah, that, that's exactly. But what about all the fucking people that are gonna swat him? Nice try, Sniper Wolf, but I know the truth. Women aren't real. <laughs> you won't defeat me. How about that? By the way, 
Doxing, very important. Horrible thing that happens Thank to you. a lot of people. A huge and kind of recent example of a creator being doxed and having terrible things happen to them. Keffels was swatted and then later doxed by Kiwi Farms. After oh, yeah. being swatted, Keffels moved to a hotel and their location was doxed by Kiwi Farms or some shit. I can't remember. I didn't really keep up with that, to be honest. Real life actual danger arose beyond just yeah. swatting. When Dude, bringing internet beef into the real world is like actually insane. Internet, the beauty of the internet is that the internet is like an isekai anime. You can become, you can be whoever you want, you can do your thing, you create a persona, you can create a community, you could have a relationship with people and all that fun stuff. And uh, the moment it comes into the real world, it's actually crazy. Like this Sniper Wolf arc is just the exact same plot of the Gun Gale Online arc in Sword Art Online when Keffels was being impersonated and the impersonator threatened to harm local city officials and council members and prank orders constantly being delivered to her location. On August 5th, I was woken up by London police services pointing an assault rifle in my face at my home. I was told later that at 6 a.m. that morning, an email impersonating me was sent to every city councillor in the city of London, Ontario. It was oh, insane shit. and just crazy. That's I mean, crazy. you know, Keffel's obviously not like Jack's films, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I, but from what I remember, Keffel's got into like a lot of drama, a lot of shiz with Keffel's. So I, I don't, I don't really know that situation. But you know what I do know? I do know the doxing bad. Keep internet beef on the internet where it belongs. If you want to make a whole Twitter thread of 10 million views canceling me because I, I quoted porn in a video, as Twitter's been enjoying doing lately, honestly, all the power to you. I respect and support your decision to continue denying to the world that you have a massive porn addiction in private and you're just too scared to admit it. That's fine. That's totally fine. But please don't come to my house. I beg you. But at the same time, it's bad. You don't f***ing dox people. You don't swat people. It's illegal for a reason. It causes Damn. harm, like genuine harm, not like fake harm, like, hey, go f*** you, you're an asshole. But Whoa! I take offense to that. I felt real harm from that, Oompaville. But I can't stay mad at you. Oh, God, that mustache. Like, uh real actual harm and it makes sense why it's dangerous and why it's stupid if you put someone's private information by the way addresses and a lot of that stuff is public your name your phone number all that stuff is really public and you can find these white paper sites and and go through and and just steal people's info and find out where they live etc it's fucked up yeah all right posting That's that bad. on social media for bad. the intention of dangerous or unstable people seeing it and then committing crimes with that information because here's the thing, right? Even though my audience is incredibly sane, <laughs> let's make believe my audience is incredibly sane, okay? I still have 3 million people in my audience, right? So uh, let's say, you know, 99% of those 3 million people are incredibly sane. I will still have 1% of you, you know, which is still 3,000 people, <laughs> holy shit, <laughs> that are completely butt fucking crazy. <laughs> Okay, so like you can never do something like that. You have to realize I don't believe that content creators have a quote unquote responsibility to their audience, but a content creator can't arm their audience. Dude, actually wild. That's what's illegal. You can't just post someone's information, even if it's public. It's like using a proxy to commit a terrible deed or some kind of crime. Swatting is horrible. A lot of people have died from swatting at this point. problem across the country. The term refers to a hoax 911 call with the goal of diverting emergency resources to an unsuspecting person's home. And oh, hi, that's me. I'm the unsuspecting person's home. I got swatted once. It was awful. It was terrible. The cops came in. It was terrible. Good thing is I'm an incredibly nice, generous, and handsome fellow, and I offered them free coffee, to which they turned me down and promptly saw that I was a streaming dude and did not kill me, which was a huge W for me, the, the whole not being killed part. That was my favorite part of the whole swatting experience, when I wasn't killed. Uh, how's your door? They were banging on the door. I quickly ended the stream. I opened it, and there were two cops and a dog, and I was like, oh, hi, I'm streaming. Come on, you want coffee? And they're like, oh, if you were a terrorist... You would never offer me coffee. And a lot of people are in jail now because of this. A 17 year old in Pennsylvania has been arrested on charges Good that shit. he made at least nine false emergency Good swatting shit. calls around the country. Luckily, the actions do have real world consequences and it's pretty easy to- See, but that's the problem. Swatting has real world consequences. Doxing right now does not. That's the issue. 
So if you dox someone, you won't face real world consequences. And then some anonymous idiot in your audience will swat them and they might face real world consequences, but you are going to get off the hook. So Sniper Wolf didn't swat Jack's film. She just doxed him. So real world consequences, I highly doubt anything is going to happen. Highly, highly doubt that anything is going to happen. But that said, it doesn't mean someone in her audience isn't going to be the asshole to swat him. Find the people who do the swatting, which is cool. And if you're a creator and worried about getting doxed... Oh, hey, that's me. I found a guy that was doing swatting once, and I got hate for it. Let's go! Let's go! I get canceled for the best reasons. Canceled for talking about porn. Canceled... Dude, my, my new favorite one is being called a pedophile because I called Octavia from Hell of a Boss a lolly. That's my favorite new Nux cancellation. On the Nux cancellation tier list, this is rocketing up. It is currently in the A tier of Nux cancellations. I recommend contacting your local police department or sheriff if you live in a rural area and just letting them know that there's a potential of this happening. I did that. And to call you if some kind of crazy call comes in in regard to your address or where you live or where you're- Yeah, I've only called 911 a few times in my life. And every single one of them was to say, yeah, there are threats against me right now. Please protect me. You should know that that if someone calls and tries to swap me, you should know that uh, everything's kosher. It's all kosher. And they were like, hmm, okay. Your family lives, whatever. And they will. They'll still show up, but at least they know, right? They know to kind of expect something. It happens. Be safe. It happens. So back to Sniper Wolf Jack's films. She filmed his house, whatever, live streamed it all. Seems like a funny joke. Uh, ha, ha, I'm a girl. I'm out here outside of Jack's film's house. Whoa! Why do you have to take this to a sexist place? If she would have been a guy, it would have been just as unfunny of a joke. Damn, Oompaville, really showing your true colors, huh? 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 Our, our podcast, the Some Ordinary Podcast, me, Oompaville, and Mudahar, we have a very good, diverse podcast. It's a Jew, a Muslim, and a misogynist. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. How is it joke? Uh, there's no imminent danger, but there's 5.6 million people who see that though yeah. at the same time like it's it's pretty objectively not good and it's also against the law in california like it's actually against the law yeah, it's Penal very code 50613 i don't know if that's actually true <laughs> I forgot what it was. Get a look. 653.2, actually. Whatever, so you're regardless close of what you think of Jack's films, if you think he's fing milking it, if you think Sniper Wolf didn't actually do anything wrong, or if you hate Sniper Wolf and you love Jack, like me, I don't hate Sniper Wolf. I think she's beautiful. It's. Yo! He said the thing. Freaking love this man. Dude, I don't hate Sniper Wolf either. I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. My God. I, I just, I have like a really. Th my, my biggest gripe with internet beef is doxing, I think. I think if I had to pick my biggest pet peeve when it comes to like internet shit, it's it's doxing for sure. Uh, just because of my personal experiences, and this really hit home. Like when I saw this go down, I was just, I was flabbergasted. Still deplorable. It's still wrong. It's still irresponsible, and it's bad, and it's banned on YouTube. It's against the terms of service. So why does she still have a channel? I don't know. Ooh. Does she still have a channel by the time this video comes out? We'll fucking wait and see, dude. We'll wait and see. I'm ready. Spoilers, I yeah. Spoil spoilers, she's still around. She's still around. We're gonna get into the deep dive, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in just a bit. Next video, we are going to be looking deeply into the YouTube response to the situation where they freaking pulled out the both sides. Been pilking all day. So this is exactly what happened. Between For those of you that are unaware, pilking is the art of, of basically forcing blood in your penis to remain at the tip. So the tip of the penis ends up engorged like a kind of a, a strawberry, whereas the rest of the penis is less thin. And it, it continues to... to send blood to the tip of your penis so the penis tip gets more engorged and apparently it'll give you more pleasure i wouldn't know uh i wouldn't i've never pilked before but but i felt like he, you see i'm see he's like what is pilking i learned visually by the way all right so what you do it's simple here let me just stand up so when you pilking it's like this you stand up and then you you uh you move all the blood to the tip of your penis <laughs> I just, I just say shit at this point that Twitter can take out of context and try to cancel me for. But you see, this is, um, for those of you that say that this isn't transformative content, get pilked on, nerds. Ready. I've been pilking all day. So pilking. this is exactly what happened between Sniper Wolf and Jack. The night. No, pilking is just Pepsi and milk? No! There's no way I gave you that whole shit. And pilking is just Pepsi and milk. Okay, the act of... Here, let's, let's see, let's see. Oh, it is when you mix Pepsi with milk. I was thinking of jelking. Guys, I am making a continuous and severe lapse in judgment. 
I sincerely apologize for the things that I've done. What I was describing was jelking. <laughs> Okay, all right, listen, you just saw a brain fart live. Editor, make sure that none of this sees the light of day, unless you find it funny enough to keep in. Anyway, we move on. Right. Of the instance. Sniper Wolf on Friday night claimed that she was having a photo shoot approximately five minutes away from Jack's film's house. She posted this on her Instagram story and posted a poll with it saying, should, should I visit I him? Visit I voted him? yes, just kidding, I didn't. I don't follow Sniper Wolf on Instagram. Wow, that's sexist, bro. Even though she's beautiful. That is so silly and quirky. What a coincidence that she's five minutes away from Jack's film's home. Surely she'd never act. I love how she has for a shoot. Meanwhile, she doesn't actually make any content that's for a shoot, right? Like, I, I didn't see anyone talking about this, but I really feel like this is an important detail, right? And her whole thing, right? She says, should I go back visit Jack's film? He lives five minutes away from my shoot. Like... She doesn't have a shoot. What shoot does she have? She records herself reacting to TikToks. She doesn't have shoots. Like, that's just an excuse to be like, oh my god, what a coincidence. I just have to be around you right now. <laughs> Maybe it's a shooting. OnlyFans stuff. I don't think she has an OnlyFans stuff. She doesn't have a school shooting. All right, let's keep going, guys. Thank you for the commentary. Coincidence that she's five minutes away from Jack's film's home. Surely she did. She did shoot herself in the foot. Oh, so okay, right. Act on this. Mr. Anderson, I'm gonna kiss you right on the lips. Ah! Watch out. Internet beef and quite frankly, just criticism should remain online and letting it spill over into the real world would be very immature and cross Incredibly, incredibly bad. Just dude, keep it online, please, please. In the line, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would, it would though, it would, it would. It would, to be honest. After posting this on her story, she made the less than stellar choice to actually go to his house in a live stream slash video that I'm not gonna fucking show. Recorded a video of our home. Yep. And then posted it. Insane. To her 5.6 million Instagram. Literally needs to get kicked off of YouTube right now. I am against T-platforming in general, but you commit a doxing crime, get the fuck off my website. And followers goading me with the line, Let's talk like adults. And yeah. revealed where he lives to her Instagram following of 5.6 million people, by the way. And Jack and his wife were home during all this. He was even live streaming to a bunch of people and there was, it was you could tell it was clearly an uncomfortable thing. Sniper Wolf. Uh, you could tell it was an uncomfortable thing. Yeah, you could tell, you could tell, you know, you could tell. You could tell it was uncomfortable by the way that she uh, doxed this man to 5 million people that hate him needs to be deplatformed. In this exact moment, she turned from a mere content thief to someone who doxes and stalks her critics. Shit, just to keep things in perspective, Jack has just been making fun of this woman for making terrible low effort content and you know, saying that YouTube should say something and just kind of set a precedent. Oh, well, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Damn, it's almost like you shouldn't like do that. Uh, uh, Damn, that's crazy. No, but uh, honest to God, uh, it just makes me so sad. Don't forget that Sniper Wolf is also a false copyrighted strike user. True, she uh, she false copyright strikes. She also cheated in video games for whatever that's worth. She faked gameplay. She, um, she gets herself into all sorts of beef. She also has like these really wild clips of her like sexually talking to minors on Omegle. She also has a freaking criminal record for armed robbery. Why is she still on this platform? On the platform and, and not allow people to just freeboot in the way that she does with zero effort. POV, a guy putting on face cream. For instance, Damn. let's say Sniper Wolf was making those videos about me. Or let's say, to keep things even more linear, I was making a bunch of videos about Sniper Wolf and then she made one response to me I made a response and then she started making videos about me daily, right? And then I found out where she lives and then I put on my story. <laughs> he would get banned off the platform instantly. Man would get insta -yoined. That I was five minutes from her house and then I showed up to her house with a camera live streaming, just me standing out there, even if I had no Ill, 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 Ill intent. I probably, to be honest, would be in jail. And I certainly would not have a YouTube channel at all. I promise. This is honest to God, straight up stalking. Like, I, I have no idea how this is, how she's still on the platform. I don't know how she's still on the platform, dude. 
It's wild. Dude, you have people removed from YouTube for so little. You have people that are demonetized for so little. You have people that get blasted by the companies that hire them for so little. Look, I, uh, as an example, the new Rick and Morty season's coming out. Justin Roiland was fired, okay? Now, I don't know the Justin Roiland situation. Listen, the guy was probably an asshole, but he was proven innocent in court. Uh, and his whole life is fucked, okay? <laughs> she <laughs> literally committed a felony here. This is not to compare, but, like, this, this is the ultimate YouTube favoritism. I, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. Holy shit. Ackman got demonetized for joking about doxing. Literally. He made a tweet saying, oh, hey, guess uh, doxers are allowed on the platform. Maybe I'll feel cute and dox some YouTube employees later. And his entire channel got demonetized. She literally doxed another YouTuber and stalked and committed armed robbery. <laughs> Sniper Wolf gotta go, man. And she won't. She'll just keep churning out the low effort stolen content. I promise you that if a male creator did this to a female creator, specifically Sniper Wolf, those men would not have channels anymore. Genuinely. Like that is 100% true. If the shoe was on the other foot, that is 100% true. Nobody can fucking deny that. And probably be in jail too, like I said. So now we get to Jack's film's response. He took to Twitter, the battleground of the internet to oh, raise yeah. the alarm. Oh yeah. Jasad said, Sniper Wolf just doxxed me on her Instagram. Creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and stalk YouTubers. <laughs> you steal content and stalk YouTubers. Oh my god. Bungie gum is created of rubber and doxing and swatting YouTubers. YouTube, demonetize this dangerous creator or just get her off your platform. She posted an Instagram story right outside of our home and deleted it. She literally posted a video of the outside of our house for all- SCP-34 million. Sissy Sniper Wolf, a Keter class creature. For 5.6 million followers to see, then deleted it. In what universe do you think that's okay? In what reality do you live in where you think this behavior is justified? It is time to get her off the platform. She no yep. longer is a silly creator that yep. steals content. Tee -hee. Goodbye. She's a creep that stalks and threatens her critic. Nah, f that. She used to be so cute with the way she would steal content. God, I love the old Sniper Wolf. I miss the old Sniper Wolf back when she used to steal content for fun. She was so cute and, and meme back then. God, it was, I miss the old Sniper Wolf. New Sniper Wolf so mean, the way she, you know, commits felonies. Fucking felonies, bro. So Time annoying. to get her off YouTube. It's bad. I completely agree with him, to be honest. And like I said, smoking the Sniper Wolf pack, waiting to see how this plays out. By the time this video go goes up, hopefully there's some kind of consequence. We shall see. Wow, what a world we live in. Also, True. it's not like she's just goody two shoes. The woman has been arrested for 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 Armed actual robbery. crimes before. Armed robbery. If you couldn't tell, Jack, she was arrested twice, I believe. Once for armed uh, robbery and once for once for armed robbery and once for disorderly conduct. Took this very seriously, rightfully so. I mean, his his, his home was fucking exposed where his wife lives by this woman Dude, I hope who she, is just I hope a, a shorter piece of shit to be honest and after this heat kind of came up for sniper wolf she posted on her story defending herself obviously as one does when Dude, they are her defense is hilarious i'm just saying yes this is horrible however this is a hilarious result. guilty this creep has been harassing me for months and plays victim saying i threatened him when i just hasn't harassed has just has been criticizing and making fun of her for months for stealing videos i'm just adding some some commentary wanted to talk to him. No, you did not just want to talk to him. You didn't ring his bell. You just simply leaked his address to 5.6 million people. I have no ill intention. My ass butthole. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. He doesn't have to create drama to pay her bills. His bills, he has 5 million subscribers on his main channel. You are a side bitch to him. No offense. Sorry, so sorry for calling you the B word. I just think you're an insufferable human being. <laughs> At least you're beautiful. She tried her best to turn it back on Jack. He harassed me for a month. So excited to get doxxed by Sniper Wolf. It's going to be wild. Next, when I get doxxed by Sniper Wolf, I'm trying to already compose what the tweet will look like. Just got doxxed by a half porcelain, half plastic mega bitch. Can't tell if it's Sniper Wolf. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just really don't like her. This is evil. Holy shit. Since he's playing the victim, I just wanted to talk. I have no ill intentions. It's sad. People have to create drama to pay the bills. It still is like, but still, you know, not right. 
though, at the same time. It's pretty crazy that you're that delusional. And also, the doxing thing, I don't know if it's legally doxing technically, but that's bad, though. That's like illegal, that's actually. Bad. I don't know if this case pretty of bad. doxing is alleged or true, to be honest. It is an illegal thing, so I should probably watch what I say. But at the same time, it seems like showing up to someone's house and filming it and then posting it on your story, that seems like doxing to me. I don't know, though. I don't know. I love how everyone has to like tiptoe around. No one wants to get sued by by the woman with 35 million subscribers. Except for me. <laughs> this fucking bitch doxed him. She doxed him! She committed a felony! Come at me, lady! God damn! Holy moly! No, I'm not an expert. By the way, the whole turning it back on Jack, that is an egregiously dangerous thing to say. In fact, I think the only valid response from Sniper Wolf that could have had any positive- No, there is no. See, this is where I don't agree with like the entire YouTube community. There is no response in the world that will change my opinion of her. No apology will make me forgive her. Literally. A result from anyone would be her just coming clean, being like, yo, I'm gonna make different content. I hear you guys. I understand the feedback. I it's too late. It's too late, bro. No offense. It is too freaking late for her to say, I'm sorry, I, I hear the feedback. The only thing she could do is lean into the villain act right now. She could start street IRL streaming on kick and, and dox Logan Paul and then pay up the crypto zoo victims. Other than that, she is dosed. I get you. I'm taking full responsibility and accountability. This is unfair. I don't exactly believe that it is unfair fully myself, but I'm starting to learn. And Too I see where you're coming apologize. from. I see your criticism. And from, you know, I'm going to try to Too my late. best to move forward. But no, no. Instead, she took the fucking gangster route and showed up. She pulled up like he's her up or some shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is the internet, bro. He's not the one playing the victim, really. I mean, what are you talking about? You posted his... <laughs> <laughs> she posted his house, and he says she posted my house. And she's like, I cannot believe you'd play the victim here. Uh, you dox me, woman. Where he lives? On your fucking Instagram. That makes no sense. I like this. It's a good meme. <laughs> Sniper wolf. Sniper wolf. Dox is Jack. A literal crime! Also, Sniper Wolf, I have no ill intentions. This was completely done for wholesome purposes and wholesome purposes only. That's a good name. Dox is Jack, a literal crime, Sniper Wolf. I have no ill intentions. She then continues to dig her hole even further. You take a bad boy, make him dig holes all day in the hot sun, and it turns him into a good boy. I loved holes. What a great movie. He posted a video scrolling through his channels, calling him obsessive. Yo, I remember. All of her responses were amazing. For his content on her. She also has like five phones. I don't know what the fuck's going on in these clips. This guy's entire channel. <laughs> it's just me, me, me. Every single video for the past few months has been about me. Yeah, that's that's what the channel's about. It's even called JJ Jack's Films to make fun of Sissy Sniper Wolf. And it's just like shitting on me. Yeah, yeah, I know. Cause, cause, cause you deserve it, woman, and you proved him right. You just proved him right. If you'd have acted like a human being and not like a freaking hell spawn, maybe we would have some sympathy. But you are proving him right right now, lady. And then his streams. This dude is just like Loki. Her. I love how his response. Don't you have a wife? Yeah, but you see, this way he gets to be the bottom in his personal relationship and the top in his online. Re okay, all right, that was that was not funny. That was not funny. Rassing me, like, should I get a restraining order? <laughs> should you get a restraining order? You stalked this man. Oh my god. You stalked him and doxed him, and you want a restraining order? Lady, with all due respect, I think your vagina has teeth. Weird shit. Why not just screen record, you creep? You freaking dork. You belligerent dork. What the hell? Calling someone out for shitty behavior isn't necessarily being obsessed with someone. He is a commentary channel, and he's always done really interesting and entertaining stuff for a very long time, and this is his thing right now. What the fuck else uh, is he gonna do? This actually is cool, and it means something. Gross. Why are you so fucking obsessed with actually, stealing people's shit? With... Poor commentary, obviously. This is why I'm so passionate about streaming this and making videos about it. We're not talking about stealing. shit she did years ago. We're talking about shit she did last week. Yeah, bro. 
We're not talking about how years ago she would get into drama or lie or threaten or harass or be hypocritical or commit copyright abuse or copyright strike channels falsely. Or even the fact that she was arrested twice, once for uh, uh, disorderly conduct or once for armed robbery. Uh, no! We're talking about last week. Dude, how could someone have a laundry list of crimes that long? You make freaking TikTok reactions. How do you have so many crimes? Like, it's mind-blowing to me how she could even have this many crimes. Or yesterday or today. This is still what she does commonly, frequently, repeatedly. I love watching TikTok compilations with like Schlatt, Jack Septic Guy. <laughs> Top of the morning, ladies. Those guys. I mean, come on, dude. Try not to laugh. They're baller. I'm glad you're mentioning that because this this is like a major point that I, I make a lot, Mr. Oomp. I even mentioned this on our podcast, I think, that um, when it comes to reacting to TikToks, it's not like reacting to TikToks is inherently content thievery, right? Sniper Wolf is content thievery because people are watching those videos because she just basically grabs TikToks. Now, Schlatt and Jacksepticeye and Markiplier, PewDiePie, when they do Try Not to Laugh challenges, they are funny. And that is why we watch them. That is transformative content. And uh, I would like to think that my content is transformative too, whether you like it or not, that doesn't matter. But the point is, not all React content is created equal. Sniper Wolf is the absolute lowest level, bottom of the barrel style React content. The reason why people are hating on her isn't because, but I do to try not to laugh challenges and so does Markiplier. That's not the point. The point is, Markiplier's try not to laugh challenges are funny because of Markiplier. Your whole channel is all about just Stealing viral TikToks. <laughs> Nux's content isn't just transformative. It's an experience. True, true. I give people seizures with my content. It's just Sniper Wolf, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, that's my coke. This is where I would just like... <gasps> it's pretty much Damn. just fucking her. And Damn, streamers. Okay. She ended all this, by the way, with saying, should I get a restraining order? Really? Should I get a restraining order? I just don't see how this looks good in her light at all. I mean, this is just bad. Then she turns it on just- I love how he's still being objective. He's like, mm, looking at it from her perspective, I'm trying to get- No! From her perspective, she's just a narcissist. From her perspective, she's evil. Thank you, thank you. Sniper Wolf is just five minutes away from telling you that there's no laws against the Pokemon, Batman. All men in general, all modern men in general. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? This is probably my favorite little screenshot of her tirade. <laughs> I didn't see that one, what? 400 videos online shitting on someone, but wanting to talk IRL goes too far. Modern men are actually a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. No joker, don't do it. And the laws against the Pokemon, man, man. If you could call it that on Instagram about the whole situation. She literally swats and doxes him and claims that it's, oh, but, but I wanted to talk IRL, but about it, but, but. Sure. 400 videos online hitting on someone, but wanting to talk IRL, you, you are. Modern men are at you and you. Modern men are actually a joke. True. What are you then? What are you? Are you a modern woman? Because I'm not liking this so far. Holy shit, I think okay. I'd rather be a modern man. Wait, but actually, this is the best part. It, this is where it gets in Please do the response. My favorite response Sniper Wolf made, which he didn't show you, was Sniper Wolf saying, I don't even know how to dox people. That was the best response. Incredibly epic and way worse. She pulls the ultimate strategy out of her pocket. Sue, Sue, sh lawsuits. No! She loves lawsuits. And hearing me, I'm not in that opinion. Yes! This is my favorite one. I'm so sorry. I know that again, once again, let me just reiterate how bad the thing she did is. It's really bad. However, let me just say, accusing me of doxing is defamation. I have no idea how to dox. Woman. What is going on? Sniper Wolf, you are not a clown. You are the entire circus. Oh my God. I have no idea how to not. He literally moaned and ran on you and then I rent him and knocked him. I don't think that's how that works, to be honest. I think that <laughs> accusing someone of doxing would be defamation if it were untrue, but like- act Just because I called the SWAT team and just because I told them that you were storing all sorts of drugs and weapons and, and, and bombs in your house and they came to, to, to break down your door and shoot you in the leg. It doesn't mean I swatted you. I literally don't even know how to swat you. Actually doxing someone and accusing someone of being doxed are very different. I think we should let experts, you know, determine what exactly happened, but for now it doesn't look that good. And I don't think that would end very well. Jack responded to this with a well-written tweet. 
You posted a video tonight of you outside our home for your 5 million plus followers to see while my wife and I were inside. I can't make it any simpler than that. If that's- Yeah, it's- It's not doxing. Why did you delete it? Gang, gang, destroyed, obliterated. Shout out to Potato Gamer in chat who says most people are 70% water, but she's 100% full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she loves gaslighting people, dude. She loves gaslighting people. And you think she wouldn't do this? You think she wouldn't stalk someone or follow, go to someone's house? She's had this problem in the past. Here, I mean, check this out. Someone stalk me. Yo, I love it. She has so many videos. Someone stalked me. A fan followed me home. Someone found my address. And then she's out here freaking. Oh my God, dude. Let me own. And this is terrible, by the way. This happens to a lot of women that I know in the biz, and this is fucking fucked up. So yeah, maybe don't horrible. set a new precedent, to be honest. Don't be on the wrong side. Even Jack's wife made a very well thought out and eloquent tweet that sort of pulls it all together, honestly. From a perspective of someone who's not a creator or famous, she's just a normal person who is definitely a victim in this. Unlike Oompaville, who is not a normal person. Oompaville is above what normal people are because of his mustache. <sighs> It's, it's the sense of humor in his mustache. It gets him everything. It gets him everything. Situation. Dear YouTube, YouTube creators, Team YouTube. I am not a creator, but my husband is. Tonight, Sniper Wolf came to my home, posted on her Instagram for all to see and treat it. Yeah, it, it has been a nuclear fallout. This, in my humble opinion, uh, this has been the biggest YouTube drama since Logan Paul Suicide Forest. Uh, and honestly, this is worse. Like, I know, I, I don't think people are, are really grasping just how fucking bad it is just because they're surprised by how fucking stupid it is. This is worse than the Logan Paul Suicide Forest thing. Like, uh, unlike Logan Paul, she actually put people in danger. Th this is worse. <laughs> and people, are, I don't think people gr grasp, grasp the scope, the scope of, like, not only how big it is, but how evil it is. How terrible it is. Just because of how stupid it is. It's like something so stupid happens, you can't even recognize how bad it is just because you're so surprised by how dumb it is. Ridiculous. There has been a call to action from everyone, basically. Everyone wants Sniper Wolf to see consequences. The tweets have gone extremely viral. There's videos. Critical finally made a Sniper Wolf video. A huge story has been developing over the- <laughs> I saw this Charlie video and I'm like, bro, he went to a hotel room to fill his sniper wolf video so she doesn't pull up to his house. <laughs> he went to record this video at a hotel. He, had, he went into hiding so sniper wolf doesn't just pull up. What an actual legend. I love him so much. Last. I don't know, like two hours or something. Didn't watch it. I don't know. He fucking teleported. He fucking is hiding himself, trying not to get doxxed by Sniper Wolf. Luckily, he <laughs> is in some kind of fucking Motel 6 or some shit. He's scared after this most recent yes. event. I think demonetization for her should be an absolute bare minimum if she's willing to do this uh, with people who, who are her critics. Genuinely, I think that if the shoe was on the other foot, this would happen. I would get demonetized. If I did this, I would get demonetized, for sure. I would get demonetized. I'd, I'd probably I'd, be in prison. I don't know. You would probably be in prison, but you'd probably get banned. Uh, I would go as far as to say that I think you would get banned off YouTube if you did this. If you did this, you would get banned off YouTube. Dude, let, let, let me give you an example. Recently, Gideon, a YouTuber, uh, pulled up and met EDP445 in public. Now, EDP is an alleged pedophile, okay, with mountains and mountains of evidence of his pedophilia activities. He's the guy that went to get a cupcake from a 13-year-old girl. Gideon pulls up and met him in public and was like, oh, hey, you're that, that pedophile guy, huh? And... YouTube struck down Gideon's video and gave him a community guideline strike on his channel. Not only that, but every person that even commentated on that situation and showed a clip of that confrontation, they all got strikes and they all got those videos removed because he brought YouTube shit into the real world. And this is to a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> like oh my not like not like some some cringe fake pedophile like how twitter twitter likes calling me a pedophile for some reason because i because i called octavia from hell of a boss a lolly which is like such an inconsequential nothing burger that people are just they don't like me i guess but but this gets off the hook this doesn't get a video removed or a channel strike or anything <sighs> holy shit brother this is gross and I would be, you know, fucking dropping the soap or some shit like that. She's just a bad person. Money's so cool. I disagree with that take of yours. And I'll raise you, but money is not cool enough to let me think that you can get off the hook from consequences from stalking or doxing or harassing people.
So let me, let me, I'm with you, I'm with you. So far, YouTube has yet to address this. They don't want to touch their golden pony. She's a massive part of their algorithm, it seems, and their platform, and it like is. it makes If every time you, I highly doubt this would be the case now, but in the past, if you'd ever make like an incognito tab on YouTube, you would find Sniper Wolf on the homepage. A, you know, give her consequence. Every single news outlet that matters has made something on this. I just, not actually, it's all shitty fucking, you know, like Dexerto stuff. Asmund Gold had a good take. He said, Sniper Wolf's situation is unacceptable. Anyone who uses their platform <laughs> to dox and put a person's family in physical danger deserves to be deplatformed. This is an unironic line in the sand and one that should never be crossed. I agree completely. That's baller. I like that. 100%. As I, I know that people suggested she should get demonetized. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. She gotta get off the platform. This is just unacceptable. This is unacceptable, dude. And gold. He's got a lot of good fucking uh, takes. The yeah, act man like said, Sniper Wolf unironically just started her own Doxing Adventures video series. LMAO, this can't be real, bruh. That's the worst idea you could have stolen from me. He has a joke, this fucking guy that he did this with, who tried to dox him. Piece of shit. Anyways, guys, to me this- And, and he got his whole channel demonetized, by the way. Like, let's not forget, she he literally got his entire channel demonetized when he made that joke, and she's still kicking. Seems like the biggest rift between YouTube and its creators that I've been alive to really uh, kind of witness, you know? Does it feel like that for y'all? Like, he, it seems like YouTube just doesn't give a fuck at all. She's their golden pony, and they're going to do whatever they possibly she's can to keep that going. Uh, even if it's... Not that type of pony, Chad. Get your head out of the gutter doxing i don't that's crazy there's no way if everyone takes a stand against it i guess maybe something good will happen but i don't know man i don't know man what do you guys think i want to know what you think down below i think she's an absolute goober and this uh cannot go on <laughs> i love that one. i think she is an absolute goober thank you oompaville i agree answered to be honest anyways thank you all so much for watching i appreciate it yeah that's that's insane dude uh, it's wild to me that she's still even on the platform like, that's, that's actually absurd.